Prophet T.B. Joshua sent the anointing water to the four corners of the earth. Let's watch what happened when the anointing water was ministered in Jesus' name in the Synagogue Church of All Nations branch in London, UK. This is the Synagogue Church of All Nations branch in London, UK, where people have gathered awaiting a touch of the anointing water. As the anointing water is being spread on the people by the evangelist, the chains Satan has used to bind them to himself begin to crumble and they are restored back to their original position in Christ Jesus. For the evidence of Jesus Christ is lives changed. Out! You can see the manifestation as she moves. Holy Ghost, fire all over your body! Holy Ghost, fire! Fire! fire. Holy Ghost, fire! fire! Holy Ghost, fire! fire! Out! And down she goes under the anointing of, of the Holy Spirit. Out! Watch as she's beginning to shake violently. Holy Ghost, fire all over your body in Jesus' name. So you can see the reaction as the anointing water is ministered to. See that she's holding her stomach in. She's pulling her stomach in. You can see that there is definitely all a challenge. All of Jesus will leave in Jesus' name. Out! <laughs> she continues to hold her stomach and moves irrationally, knowing that there's, some, there's a challenge going on in the, in the realms of the spirit, where darkness meets light. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you are declared free in Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah! The woman has been declared free. My name is Danielle. I live in London. And can you explain to us um, what were the problems that actually brought you here to the Synagogue Church of All Nations in London? I came because um, I had so many, I've got so many problems, uh, family problems, social life, work problems, people come into my life, use me, leave me, things like that. And a friend of mine came to this church and she encouraged me to come. Uh, set back in my finances, set back in my relationships, like I said earlier, people, men will come into my life, use me, use whatever I have, and then off they go. Um, used to have dreams like eating in my dreams and men sleeping with me in my dreams. People that I don't see their faces, but someone will be sleeping with me in my dream. I went forth when uh, newcomers were called and uh, the, uh, they spread some water on me, but I just lost control of my body. Uh, I don't know, I can't remember what happened. I could hear uh, people clapping hands or commanding the evil spirits to come off my body. That's all I can remember, but I lost control of my body. I feel lighter actually, because when I came in, I was so heavy and having so many thoughts, so many things going through my mind. But now I have that peace. And what can you say about this anointing water? Um, it's my first time to have an experience with this anointing water, but I believe my life has changed. I've had one lady that came with a testimony that she used the anointing water on her daughter who had um, eczema and it disappeared instantly. I believe this is a life-changing anointing water. Wherever you go, where the church that you visit, you need to have faith because God works with faith. He doesn't work with our cries. He doesn't work with our pain, but it's faith that he needs from us. So stay in faith and be faithful. Watch the screens and see the, the reaction as she falls Christ. to the ground. The Let there be walk. light in this body, soul, and spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come out! That's delivered out. to the power of the Holy Spirit. Come out! 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 This is your last day in this body. This body is not your temple. You're coming out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Jesus commands it. Out! 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 You can hear the noises. You can hear the noises of Jesus of, of the wants demons. you out. You can hear the strange noises. Come out! We declare you free in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are free. Praise the Lord. 
That's a woman that has just been declared free in the name of Jesus Christ as the anointing water was being sprayed. Well, you can see the reaction and the instant deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus, I'm free. Thank you, Jesus, I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus, for delivering me. My name is Margaret, and I'm originally from Tanzania, uh, and I live in the United Kingdom. I heard about uh, the Synagogue Church of All Nations from, firstly, it was from my sister and my brother-in-law, and uh, they uh, directed me to look on the uh, internet, and I've been watching on the uh, internet, YouTube, for the past week and a half. The main problem was spiritual man I keep seeing in the dream. And what I just made me realize is like, when I'm in the spirit, it's kind of, I'm happy there with that kind of spiritual man. But when I'm in the physical, I'm not happy with my husband. You know, when I come out of it and I'm physically in the world, always a problem. Mm -hmm. Yes, I mean, we will have some argument. We don't have peace m most of the time. Whenever we just, you know, we've got to be together and there will be something that will distract us and even uh, we could, you know, plan a peaceful day and something will just come up and disturb or even if we go ahead with a peaceful day, then the next few minutes or day it will be another distraction. It's like the spiritual husband, I could say, is not happy with what is going on between me and my husband. So that's why whenever we're in peace, there's always a problem. We will be in peace today, tomorrow we are not. So I, I, I thank God that uh, he has delivered me from that horrible spiritual man and never again in my life. And I'm going to live a victorious life. I'm going to live the way God wants me to live and the, not the way the world wants me to live. To be honest, it, it's quite a while. could be even six, seven, eight years. And when you came here to the Synagogue Church of the Nations, you came forward and you received the anointing water. What happened to you? I felt like there was something straining, come, kind of certain energy or a power coming out of me. It was just rolling out of me and I was not into myself anymore. So I didn't know what happened afterwards until later on. Then I felt, uh, you know, I'm, I felt light. I felt like I'm a different person. And even now I feel my heart was heavy. You know, like you could feel like this, there was something in my heart. But now I feel I'm absolutely light and free. This is a real anointing water. It's real anointing water. And I tell you, even before when I was on a queue, just going before even going there, when the evangelist was spraying the waters to, the, to, to my fellow uh, uh, Christians, I was still feeling it. I could feel it just inside me. I would advise all, all of you, everyone around, all around the world, to come for this, for God is using this anointing water to reach the whole world. And I thank God for that. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Continue to watch your screens. See the reaction of this lady. In the powerful name of Jesus Christ. Watch your screens. In the you mighty name of Jesus Christ. See the reaction as the anointing water is ministered to unto this lady. Anywhere that is darkness, let there be light in Jesus' mighty name. See the powerful reaction. name of Jesus Christ. All that is not of Jesus must go in Jesus' mighty name. The evil spirit is being disturbed as the anointing water is you being spread. You unclean spirit, you have no place in this body. What's the reaction? You have no place in this body. What's the reaction? She moves oh. uncontrolled. You unclean spirit, you have no place in this body. You have no place in this body. This body belongs to Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost fire! Lady is not comfortable with herself. Holy Ghost fire! Holy Ghost fire! What's the violent reaction? Fire! Holy Ghost the fire! Fire of the Holy Spirit! Holy Ghost fire! Fire! Holy Ghost fire! fire. See as she moves around uncontrollably. Be free in Jesus' mighty name. We declare you free in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah! Let us put our hands together for wonderful Jesus. She has been declared free. That's the power of God. That's the mighty work of God has been, has been done in this lady's life. 
We give the Lord thanks and praise. Thank you, Lord, for delivering me. Thank you, Jesus Thank Christ. She's thanking the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. She's thanking Jesus Christ for her freedom, for her deliverance. She's been set free in the powerful name of Jesus Christ. Let there be light in Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Watch your screen. Watch the screens. You can see the violent reaction as the mountain waters minister to. Any darkness in this body, come out. Out. See that she's moving uncontrollably under the influence of the Holy Spirit. As the woman shakes uncontrollably as the evangelist sprays the anointing water. You are declared free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Rise up. Glory be to God. This woman has been declared free. My name is Pony Chisam. I live in Dorchester. Originally, I come from Botswana. Actually, my father told me that there's a church or synagogue in London. And then today, me and my sister, we decided to come here to the church to come and have deliverance. My problem which I have is I can't sleep in my own house. I've got things moving all over my house. And in, on my stomach, there's something moving inside my stomach. On my head, there's something moving on my head. And things are creeping all over in my house. It's a spirit of a snake. Because I had a dream one night when I was sleeping, I dreamed a snake facing me. And since that time, things are still the same. They're creeping all over my, my house. There's something moving definitely on my stomach, and that thing, it keep m like crying, making sounds, and it's like it's drinking my blood because I've been to the doctors, and they say I'm, I'm anemia. Mm -hmm. Yes, and one point the doctor said to me, we are sorry, Mrs. Shizam, but your blood look very strange. You got a blood of an animal. This thing has been affecting me day and night. Even when I'm at work, this thing is still following me. This thing is just, when I'm sleeping, this thing is right on top of my head. I can't even do anything. When I was anointed with the anointing water, I feel my body going numb and stiff. I f afterwards, I feel I was really feeling light on my body. I didn't realize what was going on, but I, I could find myself in a really different situation like I am always. How are you feeling now? I feel light and I feel I've been lifted the heaviness which was on my ear. Something have come out of me and I feel really happy to be here. I thank God. I can say this anointing water have helped me and I'll have peace and I'll sleep in my house and I'll continue saving the Lord. I can advise anybody who's going through the situation that I have that they should hold on on the love of God and pray and they should never give up because the Lord is there. He can see them through their sufferings. They should never give up. When you have faith, everything is possible. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God's power is working through his word and his spirit as he brings the deliverance. Any darkness, we command you out in Jesus' name. Come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are declared free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, she's been declared free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Madam, can you please introduce yourself to us? Tell us your name and where you're from. I'm Veronica Johnson. I'm from Catford in London. And uh, can you tell us the reason that brought you here to the Synagogue Church of All Nations? Um, I was invited by a friend. She's been actually urging me to come to, to visit you. Um, because she knows that I've had, I have problems in my life. And I've been trying to um, develop my spiritual life. I've been trying to deal with a number of problems that I've had, uh, that I've been facing. Um, problems where just everything that I seem to attempt or try to do um, doesn't seem to succeed. Uh, I make efforts, but I just it doesn't come to anything. It ends in failure. So it's been a history of failure, history of um, even though I try, 
my efforts seem to come to nothing. It just feels that there were blockages in my life, and not just in, ev in one area, in all areas. Um, and also, it seems to be affecting my, my children, although they're adult, they're grown. Um, but you know, I think because we fight and we battle, I, their lives are not destroyed, but they're not flourishing the way that we might expect. And today you came and you received the anointing water. Can you tell us what happened to you? I felt a huge power and um, quite dizzy. I, I suddenly came over very dizzy, very um, confused, very disorientated. Uh, my focus seemed to, to go as the water came over my face. I seemed to, and I felt that I was struggling, that I was fighting against, you know, uh, a real power in my life. And uh, do you believe that you, receive, you have received uh, your deliverance through the medium of the anointing water? I believe I have. I think that the struggle that was going on was for anything that was left in me that was fighting against deliverance and against having um, Jesus in my life, against having uh, God um, performing a transform transformation in my life. I think that was what was shaking me um, the way it did when I received the, the holy anointing, the water. So you've been disconnected, in other words, from every um, power of darkness? Even after I felt light and um, just walking, not really being able to, to solidly put my feet on the ground, I felt that I was walking, it sounds a little silly, but on air. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Well, that's wonderful. We thank God for the wonderful deliverance that uh, uh, you have received today in the name of Jesus Christ. And what can you say concerning the anointing water? I think it's, it has real power. It's my first visit, and I certainly felt a huge, powerful impact. So, yes, I mean, yeah, <laughs> I think I'm convinced. <laughs> Amen. Well, that's the anointing that breaks every yoke. Uh, that's the uh, power of Jesus Christ. We just want to advise you that now that Jesus Christ has opened the doors in your life and has broken every power of darkness, uh, so that you should make his word the standard for your life, so that wonderful deliverance will be permanent in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, yes. I, yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. Amen.